let's talk about flying into the Hidden Lake Airport. To get started, let's cover some of the highlights now so we may get into more of the details over the next few minutes. Hidden Lake is a private airport with an FAA designation code of Foxtrot Alpha 40 located in Newport Ritchie, Florida. With a single runway, visual approach lighting and runway lighting, a common traffic advisory frequency is used of 123 MHz. Note there are no published instrument procedures here. Visitors should call before landing. First, let's take a look at the asphalt runway so we can get a better understanding of what we're working with. The total runway length is 4,425 feet with a width of 50 feet. Landing to the northeast on runway 5, there's a displaced threshold of 375 feet, leaving approximately 4,050 feet available for landing. Landing to the southwest, runway 23 has a displaced threshold of about 650 feet, leaving approximately 3,775 feet available for landing. Both runway 5 and 23 have precision approach path indicator lighting, which are approximately 700 feet beyond the threshold. Incidentally, the field's windsock is located near the pathy light for runway 5. Let's take a look at Runway 5 in a little bit more detail. The first thing that you will notice is there is a run-up area at the end of the runway. And of course, being an aviation community in the country, you can expect homes and trees on both sides of the runway. Also, since we're in the country, we get a little bit of wildlife that we have to be on the lookout for. I personally have seen deer, turtles, sandhill cranes, and, and all sorts of other things I wouldn't want to hit with an airplane. So please be careful. In 2014, the power company installed transmission power lines to the south of the airport, which is certainly an obstacle we'll want to be on the lookout for when landing on runway 5 or departing on runway 23. So to quickly recap, there are trees and houses on both sides of the runway. Wildlife is also in the area. The power lines are on short final for runway 5 in the departure end of 23. And always be on the lookout for these power lines. The power lines are approximately 40 feet above ground level, which puts them about 70 feet MSL, as our field is 30 feet above sea level. So let's talk about clearing the power lines. Looking at the runway from a side view profile, you can see why it's important for us to keep these power lines in mind when we conduct aviation operations. The PAPI system for runway 5 has been adjusted to provide 100 feet of clearance above the power lines. To accomplish this, the glide slope has been modified to 4.9 degrees on the bottom and 5.5 degrees on the top. Down the middle, expect a 5.2 degree approach, which is certainly steeper than a traditional 3 degree configuration you'll find at many other airports. Let's look at it in more detail. Since the power lines are 70 feet MSL, to cross them with 100 feet of clearance, your altimeter should indicate at least 170 feet. Of course, this assumes you have the correct altimeter setting and there are no equipment errors. By the way, 170 feet places you at the bottom of the glide slope as the middle is really at 178 feet MSL. Looking at it laterally, the power lines are about 965 feet before the threshold, which is about 1,670 feet before the touchdown area on the runway. Because of the increased glide slope angle, you can expect an elevated rate of descent from what you may be used to. This rate will vary as it's based on ground speed and not airspeed. Different aircraft require different speeds and of course winds are a factor. Here I've provided an example of my personal descent rate based on a 75 knot ground speed. Feel free to plug in your numbers and see what you come up with. Okay, so let's recap. Visitors require permission to land. Communicate your intentions on 123 MHz using standard untowered procedures. Be alert for wildlife, trees, and power lines. Take advantage of the PAPI system. Expect an elevated rate of descent, especially for runway 5. And as always, when in doubt, go around. Please be sure to watch the live action approach video below for more information on the power lines, 
especially for Runway 5. Thanks for watching.